I'm just going to say. Oh, our April Fool's joke. Yes, but my page turned out wonderful. I'm getting of lots course of it did. On it. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely want to. I definitely want to go through and look at that. And <laughs> you know what? Do you know what works in my advantage? Is obviously we you know we were traveling, so we had a um, extended day of travel, and uh, so I, I set up the I set up the uh, April's full joke, and then I got on a plane. Mm -hmm. So, and then not only did I get on a plane, but we were we were flying. The, the, the internet didn't come on like usual. It, it took a while; like they had to fix it. So I'm dying because I don't know what to do, because I can't do anything because I'm in the air at the time. And then I got on there, and I was just like, you know, sometimes being quiet and sitting back is the best. And it was, so thanks for giving me a good laugh a mile yeah. up here. Well, let me tell you, I'm rooming with Stacy and Star <laughs> and Jackie in Texas. So you are now, you got your, you, you got your day coming. <laughs> oh. Tell Tanya uh, to just back off when we come in, when you see us coming. <laughs> now, a oh, polite thing to do would be to get us back next year on April 1st. No, but, that's too long but, for y'all to marinate. But huh? thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for recording that threat, though. We <laughs> can't even wait yeah. until Hawaii, guys. We got to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Right, right. So you don't I know actually you felt really bad. I felt so oh, no. bad. Don't he's 20 feet he's twenty thousand feet in the air i'm on back-to-back -back flows and then i go back to the screen like i went <gasps> <laughs> you challenged me now you know better than to challenge me <laughs> you did you, you did amazing but the thing about it is that is an actual drink that people are paying 10 bucks a pop for yeah it's amazing so um so here's the thing. Okay. Welcome to Wine Ambassador. We got off track, but it was fun. I haven't had an April Fool's prank pulled on me since college. So, <laughs> but I think this one backfired on you guys. But anyway. <laughs> but it was I'm good. I now, liked thinking outside the box. So, um, but um, I've had a lot of people ask me about what we talked about last week was the proposal for the restaurants that we did, the page that we created in the ad. And they're wanting to know how you can utilize it with our um, things that we already have for our wine ambassador. Um, so along with that is I pulled up the grapevine. And if you are using your grapevine system, you should have a list of names in there that you've been adding from contacts that you've gotten from your um, landing pages that you have in your grapevine system um, in your CRM that you have in there. So you should have access those that get leads um, from Roy with our program, you should have those from people that have contacted you or made um, inquiries about what you're doing. So you should have those lists of names in there. So I'm going to try and share my screen. And so you should be able to see. So this is what your grapevine system looks like. For those of you that don't know, if you go up here to this little hamburger, and if you don't see this list of information under your marketing, then you are not part of the grapevine system and you need to be in there. So you can go to your upgrade or get with your um, instructor and they will walk you through on how to order your grapevine. If you are an ambassador and up, you know, any of our wine ambassadors, you can come in for the $14.95. If you are in a state that does not allow you to get wine, um, then you can come in under the $59.95 and still have access to all of the things that we have. Um, hold on a minute. Figures my phone starts blowing up when I get on the training. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use that um, in our grapevine um, with my contacts that I have already in there. Um, we're going to be sending out a campaign. Now, if you don't know how to add your contacts, if you go right here to, to the middle of the page, you're going to see where it says add your contact. You're just going to click on there and you fill out the information that you have for that contact. If you have their Facebook information, time zone, all of that, you want to fill out as much information as you can and then hit save. Now, Roy and Tanya already have um, set up or Wine Ambassador has set up some campaigns that will automatically go out for this um, new enrollee that you've put in that they will get emails and they will be scheduled out with you know they're not going to get a whole bunch of them you know right on top of each other they are scheduled out so they might get the first one as soon as you hit save 
And then maybe later that day, they'll get another one. And then a couple of days later, they'll get another one. A week later, they'll get another one. There's about 10 or 12 of them in there that they will get. But in the meantime, you also have the option to send out emails and messages to them. So that's what I'm going to do. And I have pulled up my business proposal that I put in there. We started yesterday. There's my actual newsletter and email that I created from my page. I just condensed it, took out some things in there. There's no pictures in there. Um, I highlighted some different things that I'm going to be sending this to them um, as a business option. Um, we can also do this for restaurants or anything like that, um, but this is just going to be to my customers. So I geared it to customers coming in. Now you can also go in and create um, like the headline I'm going to use. It's going to ask me for a subject. So I've left this blank so you can see how I created headlines. Now you saw how Roy does his. Mine's a little different because I actually use my power words because I want to draw their attention. I want them to see exactly what I'm doing. So when I get my power words up here, I have my different ones that I use. So here I you know, capture greed. What's the one thing everybody wants to do? They wanna save money. They're looking for a bargain, something that's free. They're trying to earn money. They wanna get more out of it. Bonus, profit, lucrative, cash. Um, things that I want them to be able to look at. Um, curiosity is another great one that people are, that kind of draws your attention. Um, so I use this a lot. These words in here, I just, depending on how I feel, what my train of thought is, is how I want to use it. Um, laziness is another thing that people are looking for. They want something they don't have to think about that takes the least amount of time that gives them the greatest benefit. Same thing with um, consumer lust. So you want to kind of do both. I kind of do the capture greed and lust in the same thing. So sometimes I might use a combination of these two words uh, when I'm using it. So I have a whole list of this stuff. Um, let's see, I can give it to you guys if y'all want to. Um, let me copy that link. I'll put it in the chat so y'all can have access to this if you don't. Um, and it's just one of those things that I like to use. It just helps me create a thought process. So when I come in here, I'm going to go back to my business proposal and I'm going to create my headline. And the first one I'm going to use is, um, which one do I want to use? Um, so let's go here and do save money. And then the other one is earn free. All right, so the next one I want to use is see what our next power word is. Um, get more. So we're going to say get more. And then here we're going to say lucrative. Mila. You want to see my grandbaby? You say hey to everybody. Hi. He's got a small concussion. He fell, so he didn't get to play ball today. So he's going to hang out with me for a bit. All right. Um, he's so one lost. Tough kid there, Sheila. Huh? He's one tough kid. He is. He's a little upset. He really wanted to play ball with his head all swollen and everything, but they said nope. <laughs> so lost opportunity if you don't act fast. All right, so that's one of the things. So I'm going to come here and create. Um, I got the one for, for business proposal, and now I'm going to create one for um, customers. Uh, 
Um, so let's go to my power words and the, think of feeling powerful. Hold up a minute. All right, so this one, I want to get them thinking of something that they might be not a part of. So um, want to look for something that, okay, we're gonna say trusted. Mm -mm. No, I got a word in my head and I can't find, can't think of it. Um, coveted, there we go. So I basically, you know, I'm pulling out all the stops here. I don't want them, to, I want them to feel like if they're not part of it, they're missing out. They're, they're being alienated. And I'm giving them the opportunity not to be alienated, to be in that exclusive club that only few people have that has the snob appeal. Because um, our grand crews are snobs. You know, that's what we label ourselves. Um, so... I can use these um, and my daily ads that I produce that I put out there, you know, for my regular ads every week. Um, I can also do them in my SMS messages that I send out for my customers. Um, I can also use it in my Grapevine. Um, when you sign up for Grapevine, you have access to SMS. So again, it just depends on how you want to be marketing. So then I'm going to go to my pre-enrollees. Come on, click. All right, come on. I need to re-sign in. Yeah, I think I might. I think I've been in too long. All right, pre-enrolls. I don't know, I'm getting an error. There we go. 
So here's my pre-enrollee list and I'm just gonna select all and I'm gonna say, I wanna contact them by email, okay? And then I'm gonna come here and say, I wanna send them an email. So I'm gonna go to email, it tells you how many credits you have, how many uh, people you can contact um, or that have emails that you can contact in your contact list. So then I'm just gonna come here and get my subject heading, which is my headlines. So I'm gonna come back to my business proposal and I'm gonna grab my headlines. And I'm gonna say lucrative opportunity. I'm gonna copy this, come on. And I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna put this in the body of the note. <clears throat> okay. And then <clears throat> I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna put in the, just start my email. Um, I forgot how I'm supposed to go. Here's my tools, source code um, to put in. How do I put in? I forgot how I put in my name. I think it's, uh, where is it at? Last name, first name. Okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna come here. I am going to grab this email. The whole thing. I'm going to copy. I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna paste it in here. Okay. And I'm gonna to come to the bottom. Come on. All right, and then tell them to be the page here. And I'm gonna put my link. And I can put this link here, which is the revenue page, or I can put my fine wines link. So I think since this information here is already talking about wine, I'm gonna go back to my wine only. And I'm gonna grab one of my wine links because my proposal is the same thing as my business proposal page. So I don't wanna send them back to that page. So I'm gonna send them my wine page. So I'm gonna send them my compare wines page because there I talk about our wine program and I also give them background on fine wines compared to mass produced wines. So I wanna give them some added information that's not here that they can see. So I have that there. I wanna make sure it gets linked. Um, so they should be able to link it. So there's that. And I tell them I'm looking forward to hearing from them. And then I give them my phone number. Okay. So there's all of my information they have right there. They can get in touch with me. Um, they can email me back here. 
And then I'm just gonna hit send, all right? Uh, and so now that gets sent to my list of information, um, my list of contacts that I have. So then I, it's there for me. Please enter. Okay, now it wants to send me a test email. Okay, so now there's that and it's gonna send out my information. I guess it's sending. Okay, so there's that and then it's gonna send out my information. Um, also, we'll send out my letter to the different ones that I have here. Now, if I need to, I can copy this to save. So I will go back to my business proposal and I will also send this, come down here and create another one. Just so I know what I sent. Okay. So now I have all my different information. I have two different emails. It's basically the same, but you know, one has my information at the bottom, has a different link in it, um, but I also have my ads. So we have that that we can use that I don't think a lot of us are using um, here for our, ad, uh, our grapevine. The other thing about your back office, once you are part of the grapevine, like we talked about once before, is you also have your QR builder and your website links. And your website links are not necessarily your join links that you get. These are your landing pages that you have access to for advertising. So for those of you that do not have a website, I know there's a few of you here. Um, I highly recommend you get one. But if not, you also have your, your landing pages. So you can directly market with these landing pages. So here's your codes that you can use. Um, for your landing pages. Um, if you just want to, um, you know, you're going to put that in there. You're going to have your registration page. You also have your link page. So if you look for those that need it, you can just click on this HTTPS funnel right through here and it will just be your, your basic page. Um, or if you just want a link to advertise, you just use that link um, and it will, you know, get you the link that you need. Um, so you have these and each one of them, you know, your talks about your wine pages, you have your refer three, you have your basically your blind market um, that really doesn't talk about wine. It just tries to get their information so they can be part of your funnel to receive those 10 messages that's in your grapevine system so that they get access and knowledge of your program. You have three more down here again. This one basically shows you that it's wine. It says, you know, sees that it's wine, but it doesn't really refer to anything about wine. Um, but when they come in, they can see the different information that they have access to. You have these little buttons. That's what this caption does. It gives you the button. Um, you can click here and view page. So if you go to view page, <clears throat> then here's your link right here. You can copy this link. If you just want a basic link to put in instead of a code, you can copy that link right there. And then they'll be able to use this link in advertising. So when it goes and asks you what's your link, not your code, you can put that link in there and then they can click and come in here and, and use that. Um, we have one that's similar to this. It's called Response Magic, although it doesn't have this beautiful background, um, but we use the same thing. So, and it will actually go to a different page. Here, it just tells you to lock in your spot. It gives them information. Once they go in there and submit, it takes them to your page where they can see what your programs are. Um, so if you do not have the Grapevine system, please, by all means, get with your instructor. It's as little as $14.95 if you're already in the wine program. Um, if you are not and you are in a country or state that does not allow for shipment of wine, you can come in at the $59.95. Um, and you still get access to everything that we have for those that do get wine shipped to your state. Um, you get access to, you know, join the programs. You get access to be part of the the contest that we have, um, plus you get all the marketing tools. So please make sure that you are using 
all the tools you have at your disposal to market your company um, and your programs that we have. That's the only way you're going to make it happen. Um, like we always said, if you treat it like a hobby, you're going to get hobby income. If you treat it like a business, then you're going to get the business income. Um, like I said, sometimes it's our work from home. We come in and dress in our PJs and, you know, sit here with our coffee um, and do our ads. And we're not as productive as, as if we just get up and get dressed like we are going to a job every day. Um, it, be, it just changed your whole demeanor and your whole personality when you are dressed for business. Um, so that's just my little tidbit. I know it's kind of short, but um, again, it's just a matter of doing the work creating those templates, like Roy said, if you don't have your ad templates, guys, then it makes it harder for you to come in and actually do what you need to do. So set, schedule those times, schedule a day, um, a couple of hours every day to do your marketing and marketing should be just marketing, but set up a time to do, to create and create pages, create ads, create your templates, find images that you want to use to go along with those. Um, and have a day or time set up just to create. And then when you do sit down to do your advertising, then it's here. You have it all right here. And it's literally a matter of copying and pasting, choosing your platforms where you want to advertise at, choosing which one of your ads work best with that platform and going with it. Um, that's why we say you need to have at least five to seven different headlines. You need to have three to five or as many as you can, you know, um, Ad, uh, ad bodies, um, as many as you can. Have every link that you have at your disposal right there. So if something happens and your website is down or you can't get to it, then you can pull up your Google Docs and you have everything right there to touch of a button. Um, you don't even need your website pulled up. You don't even need whatever credentials you have the where you market from. If you have your template ready and you have it set up properly, then everything you have is right there in that template. So if I want to advertise or market wine, then all I'm doing is pulling up my wine template, you know, and here's all my wine. I just pull up my wine and then here's everything I need to do for wine. Every program I have associated with wine is right here. And each one of them has something that I can market. It has pages, it has head headlines in it. It has ad bodies to it. Um, and then if I need to, I can also pull up a tablet that, or template and folder that has images and then I can select my image. You can also just have your image in or have a folder within your wine folder that has images just for your wines. Um, if you have your Dropbox, you can just copy your folder from your Dropbox into your Google Doc um, and have it there for your memes, for those of you that are in the memes program and have your memes right there with your Google Doc. So then you just, it's just a matter of picking and choosing which image you want to include uh, with your advertising. So part of making sure that you have your right tools is to make sure that you are utilizing the tools that you have to your advantage. Um, like we always say, you want to give your whole heart when at the end of the day, you want to be able to go to bed and rest easy saying that you gave everything that you had to make sure your business functions and works as good as it can get. Um, and that means you need to be on your game. You need to be organized. You need to make sure that you have a plan in, in action. Um, if you don't have a plan, then you're, you know, if you're not, don't have a plan to work, then you're working to fail, um, plain and simple. Um, you can't wake up every day and just say, oh, what am I going to do today? You should wake up every day with a plan of action because you've already scheduled your week. Um, your day, either the end of the day before, um, schedule your day before the next day, or like I do on Sundays, I sit down and schedule my whole week. And I leave a few blanks here and there so that they can, you know, things happen um, that I can add or switch around. But that's what you need to do for your business. Um, you know, if you have a JOB, what times you have to do at a certain time, you know, you know, you have to go to lunch at a certain time, you have to get up at a certain time to be at work at a certain time, you leave at a certain time, and then you plan the rest of your day. So if you know already from six o'clock to five o'clock, that's your J-O-B time, then you need to go in and after the time you get home, plan your family time and then schedule your business time. And you need to schedule as often as you can that you're going to advertise your business. People are not going to know your business is there if you don't tell them. And the only way you can tell them is advertise. Use all your social media platforms that you have. You need to be on those at least once a day, um, minimum, um, advertising your business at least twice a day um, and not back to back. 
um, and then still include all your personal stuff in there, all your, you know, quotes and funny things or events that happen to you, still engage in social activity on your social media platforms. Don't just use it as advertising. There's places to do that, um, which we'll be training on this month because you got me for a whole month again. So, but your grapevine is a great tool for you to use um, for everything. You can even build QR codes um, to put on advertising. You can create pamphlets in there. You can order pamphlets. You can order business cards. Everything here is at your disposal to make your business as great and as big as you want it to be. So that's all I have for today. I'm gonna stop my share. I know it's kind of short and sweet, but I wanna hear Rory. <laughs> <laughs> So do we have any questions? I think we got a few minutes we can do questions. Um, anybody? Just hit your bar at the bottom to raise your hand. Yes, Miss Kim, where'd you go? Okay, Kim, you can unmute. Um, so with, with my site down and I go onto my template and I advertise in classified free ads, my my link goes to my website yes in that yeah in that case when your site is down you can do a direct link as long as you have your ad you can do a direct link and then when your site comes back up go in and edit your ad because you should know where you put it and then send it back to your website so isn't it going to go to that product yes that's fine because you're still going to get commission either way your site's not going to be down forever yeah. So, so what's your so what's your site? Like a link in yes. to my so wine, your, but it goes yep. to my wine page, but my yep. wine page is down. So if you want to go in, you can get your wine ambassador link that is in your wine page. You should have that somewhere. If not, go to your wine ambassador and copy your link over again. And then use your direct link to market. This is the one time that you can use your direct link. But when you go, when your site is back up, go back to the place you did your advertising and edit your ad and put your link back in that goes to your website. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Yep. Don't let your website being down make it an, an issue. You have a direct link for everything. This is the one instance that you can use that. Just once your site's back up, you should be able to go in and edit your ads and put your link to your site back in there. It shouldn't stop you from working and doing your business. And the CND is a direct link. Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. um, Miss Elizabeth. Quick question about the memes. Do the memes come with the grapevine or is that a whole different program? That's a whole different program. So uh, get with the, your instructor um, or whoever invited you to the program and they'll be able to tell you how to get part of the memes program. Okay. And you usually get five four to five different memes every month that is related to your product. And you can use those. They're professionally done, looks really great. Um, and it actually, you know, is directed to your pages. Okay, Miss Renee. Thank you. Uh -huh. I, did you do something specific on QR code training? I don't quite. No, we haven't done that. That's actually part of the program training for this month is how to use that QR code. So we'll probably be going over that in the next week or so. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, that's it. No more questions. Perfect. Y'all all gonna be lovely. <laughs> See a bunch of ads, right? <laughs> So if there's something specific you want to be taught or that you'd like to learn, please get with your instructor um, and they will be able to relay it to me and I can include it on our training for this month. Um, Mr. Brandon, you can unmute. Hi there. Hi. Uh, so uh, what would be good ways to like uh, um, good placements or ways to like put calls to act, call to actions? So like other than just the words you type in, but maybe a uh, location of the images or um, I guess like layouts that, that would 
have people click more on your stuff, I guess. Um, most places, it's just a matter of repetition, repetition, repetition. Most ad sites that you have, they do not give you the opportunity to do a land a layout um, to where you kind of make a storyboard. Um, that would be mostly like on your social media platforms where you can do, go in and do live lives, do news reels, do videos, um, create your own uh, YouTube function where you can go in there do all kind of stuff on YouTube. TikTok's a good place where you can go in and actually basically give life to images that you have. Um, Canva's another place where you can go in and give life to images and use those um, depending on how you save them. Um, but when you go in and do ads on just basic ad sites, most of them give you the option to do one or multiple images. Um, the ones that give you the option to do multiple images, use as many as they allow you to use. Because what that does is sometimes, depending on where the ad shows up, it might allow them to see all the images. If not, then it will have a rotation to your images. So if you have 10 images and say that ad company is advertising in a city in New York that has a small ad company and they only allow one image, then every time it shows up on that person clicks your site, they might get a different image every time they come in. Um, but as long as you have an image there, they have something to see it. And you want to make sure that your image is specific to you. So use those tools that are out there, free tools that you can use to actually put in your web link or put in um, your site to that image so that when they see the image, it sticks and say, oh, he's got a link on there. Let me see what that link is. The link's not clickable on an image, but they can always copy the link off the image or type it into a Google search so they can see what your image is, um, what your page is for. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Great question. Okay. Um, for those of you that want to learn how to use another platform we're gonna be using, Rory will be back in a few minutes. So I think we're gonna stay here is my understanding. So um, if y'all wanna take a break, stretch your legs, get you something to drink and snack on, we're getting ready for a minimum of five hour marathon with Rory on how to reuse a lead generation system we have called Response Magic, which is my favorite. <laughs> Let me hit stop recording here. Yep. <laughs>